Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, this is one of two reviews I'm going to do tonight. And I'm going to start out with uh, Icarus Antivirus. Now I didn't get a request for this. Um, I don't know how well the antivirus is known, but doing my research, I've seen that it does, has a pretty good detection rate, so I wanted to try it out. I've never used it before, so um, we'll see how it goes. It's got a very small installer, 10.3 megabytes. It's uh, signed by Chris Software. You can see it was downloaded today. Or well, sorry, the, the it was timestamped on March 4th. Uh, but I did download it like I don't know today, definitely. You can see created uh, at 8:02. So I got um, I had to download a uh, trial license a key file and I have like 13 um, URLs here so let's start with the installer here uh, this is gonna be off because of the writing that I have um, I've made the writing bigger for you guys to easier see so the windows gonna be a little bit off we'll just uh, go with the regular install here Okay, so I gotta connect to the internet because it needs a uh, .NET framework. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and uh, let it download because I know this takes a while. So I'll be back uh, if anything interesting pops up during the install. I'll unpause the video and I'll show you guys. If not, I'm just gonna finish the install because I'd like to keep this to one video. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, one quick thing. Um, after it installs, um, it does download and update the virus utilities. So as you can see, it does update itself. So that's one good thing. Okay, so the installer completed. Let's check it out here. Let's see what it looks like. When you install it, um, if you have the license file, don't install the demo version as they call it. Actually hit the button to open the uh, license file. I do see uh, lots of memory usage here. Not bad there. Okay, so let's open it up. Let's see what we have here. You can scan. Can uh, for the quarantine files. You can update. Everything's up to date. The guard is active. Pretty much nothing to mess with here. Let's see. Email, dial-up, exclusions, logs, extras. So everything's pretty much all set. So let's get started on these uh, links. Okay, so it looks like it blocked that one. That's good. I don't know what that one is. I might have copied it wrong. That's all right. We'll delete it. Well, these are both bin files. going to take a while to download.
That one's dead. Oh, but it looks like I found something in it. That one's dead. Must have a lot of dead ones here. Looks like you killed that one. Looks like something snuck by there. But you can see something popped up here. Okay, that one got caught. And that one got caught. Looks like that one also got caught. Oh, that one's not working. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna perform the suggested uh, suggestions, as you want to call it, and I am going to do a entire computer scan. So, I'm going to pause the video while this is scanning, and I'll be back when it's done to show you the results. See you in a second. Okay, so I finished scanning here, and it says no affected uh, files are found, but uh, as you can see, we actually do have some stuff. Uh, we actually do have uh, Trust Soldier installed. So, um, what I'm going to do right now is... Um, I'm going to install Malwarebytes and do the uh, regular install like I normally do. I'm going to let it update and then I'm going to do a quick scan and see what uh, pops up. So I'll be back after the quick scan is done. See you in a second. Okay, so Malwarebytes just finished scanning here. Let's check out, see what it found. Okay, so we have some stuff in temp files, that's fine. We have a fraud pack set up 1.exe. We have a registry key for that. Uh, we have that backdoor bot bin file that I downloaded. Um, that's some temp file stuff. We have uh, a couple of extra files here. For Trojan downloader. Got a fake alert. We got some, and we got some registry keys. So we do have some stuff on the system here. Um, uh, Icarus didn't do bad, um, but it didn't do great either. It let some stuff squeak by, as you saw. Um, and my main concern with it is it does use, use um, if I remember right, it did use a lot of memory. I'm going to 86 megs. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say, well, what's 86 megabytes, this and that, but uh, I like my programs to use as little memory as possible. You know, that's just me. And, um, see, the, this computer's been running for 24 minutes, and it's used um, about 3 minutes of the CPU's time. So if we calculate that out, let's see, comes out to be... Let's call it 3.30 and 25, uh, 24.30, so 3.30. Oh, divide that by 24.3. Oh. 3.30, divide that by 24.3. So like 1.3%, something like that. Or no, jeez. Such an idiot. Thirteen point five percent. Um. Either way, that's it.